beautiful people, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day today, and I hope that you are ready, right, and chipper to go through some makeup fails with me, because I have a little box right here. I would say that I've got, you know, so somewhere in the neighborhood of like seven to ten products. I try to keep these videos, you know, nice and small when it comes to the amount of products, because I tend to talk a lot. I don't know if you've noticed. And uh, when I talk a lot, the videos get longer and longer for absolutely no reason. So I found the best way to do these videos is just to be, you know, straightforward and to the point, tell you what I don't like and why I don't like it. And also, too, going into these videos, it's very important to remember, and I know everyone says this, but just my little disclaimer, just because I don't love something and it didn't work for me, it doesn't mean you can't love it. If you do have it and it does work for you, I mean, that's obviously amazing. Don't waste your product on the count of me. Um, this is just, you know, one person's opinion. Take it with a grain of salt as you would anyone. Also, too, I want to mention, if you're looking at this full face and you want to know how I got here, I did just get done filming Monday's video for you, which I will link up here, where I went through and I tested out a bunch of new makeup. We had everything from Auric, which this is uh, Samantha Ravendahl's new brand. So if you're curious about the Glow Lust or any of the three eyes, I did go through, I talked about them. I've actually been using these for, what, two or three-ish weeks at this point. So I give you kind of all my thoughts on these. I also tried the TikTok Famous Brow Freeze from ABH. I tried um, the stuff from One Size by Patrick Starr, his eye patches, his primer, powder, stuff like that. And also too, while we're on the topic, make sure that you have subscribed and turned on your post notifications here to the wonderful world of YouTube because I upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, usually right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan, because y'all know we love the bright early morning uploads. And then also make sure, too, that you are following me over on Instagram, because, I, well, first of all, I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers, and I personally would really appreciate it. Also, because I put up a ton of content over there. Um, there's everything from makeup reels and IGTV videos to plus-size fashion outfit ideas. There's always something not only being uploaded to the feed, so there's, like, constant content, but there's also something always going on in the IG stories, which is where I hang out with you guys. We do unboxings. We talk about new makeup. We go for walks. We do polls, all kinds of stuff. But really, if you just want to see some more of me, whether that's content or, you know, just like my day-to-day -day life, make sure you're following me on Instagram, which again, will be linked down below. And from there, let's go ahead and get started with our first product, which actually is our first two products. And this one might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion. I'm not really sure, but to the table here, I am going to bring the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I have this in two different versions, the waterproof and the regular. And here's what I'm going to say, okay? I just used this one actually not too long ago in the uh, testing Gigi Hadid's makeup routine, which I will link up here. So you might be wondering, given that I just used it in that video, you might be wondering, Paige, how is it possible that you've only used it for like a week and a half and you already don't like it? Hear me when I say flaking, okay? Flaking all the time. This, for, for whatever reason, I thought that this one had problems. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, okay? This one takes the cake. I don't know what the problem is, but like every time I wear it, even when I try to coat it in with another mascara. Like, I'll put down some of this. I try to go over top of it, build up some volume, lock it in. Nope. Shit still flakes all over my eyes. Don't know what's going on there, but I am not a huge fan. I can tell you that right now. And then this one right here, okay, the waterproof. This is the first version that I tried on accident because typically I don't buy waterproof. I don't like it. Uh, but this one, I don't notice issues so much with flaking as I do with the fact that I can't build it up at all. <laughs> like, I just, I can't get any, any oomph out of it. It doesn't give me any sort of a lash lift, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. I don't get any of that going on. And not only that, it doesn't build up with like length or volume or give me, it just doesn't give me anything special. Like it, it looks very natural on me. Now I will say to be fair between the two of these, I do like this one better shockingly enough because even though it does flake on me, I would say after like five ish hours, which I don't think is good enough for a mascara personally. Like I need my mascara to really just like hold on for dear life. And this one definitely doesn't do that, but I do like it better than this one because it builds up and it tends to just, it, it tends to create more fullness to my lashes than this one does. So if you're looking at these and you're curious about them, I would start with the non-waterproof option. This is the black cap in ultra black, <laughs> shockingly enough there. It's for me, okay, and if I were looking for a drugstore mascara, I personally would stay really the fuck far away from those, and I would go with instead the Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational. This is their full fan effect mascara, and this is the mascara I am wearing today. I have went through this entire tube, and I have another one. Um, this one's actually very dry. I need to switch them out. But this mascara is so great. It does such a beautiful job at really lifting, drawing through the lashes. It is fantastic. And again, still from Maybelline. So you're still like right in that nice drugstore pricing. And it's just a beautiful mascara. So this one I recommend um, versus these two, which is obviously such a bummer because now I have two tubes of mascara that I will, without fail, okay, I will try to get through these. Like it's it's, it's always something I regret going in with mascaras I hate, but I can't throw mascaras away. Like I don't, I don't know what it is going on inside my brain.
library. I think it's because these are one of those items that you can't donate. Like you, you have to either use them or throw them away. And so I'm always like, hell no. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use them even if it hurts and it sucks or it gets stuck to my eye, whatever, I don't care. I'm still gonna use it. So I'll still use them and you'll just see me with flakes all over my damn face, such as life. Um, but yeah, it's it for me, don't don't get these. You don't you don't need them, they don't add nothing. I just don't like them. All right, so next up we're gonna talk about one that I tested, ooh, I tested it maybe a month or so ago when I tested Kimchi Beauty, which I will link up here. And in that video, I tried so hard to make it work and I've tried to make it work so many times since then. But y'all, I have to call it quits and just admit defeat. And this bronzer, Oh, it is so, so painfully, painfully orange on my skin tone. I don't know what is going on because in pan, like the texture of it, the look, I don't have any issues with it, but there's something about it when I apply it to my face, it makes me look like a carrot, okay? Like an actual damn carrot. Like, like I'm talking not, not even just orange, but like a version of terracotta orange that I am just not okay with. And it makes me so, so damn sad. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pass on this. No, thank you. But again, texture, not bad, but color, go oh God. All right, so next up, we are going to talk about brand loyalty because I have none. And I think it's a really important thing to talk about because a lot of people, they'll say like, oh, uh, you love, you know, this brand and you don't ever talk bad about them or you love this brand and you won't say nothing negative, right? Well, I am not that kind of person. I think that every brand has winners and they have things that don't work so well. Um, you know, dare I say losers. And this for me, the, the brand is Catrice, okay? And Catrice for me is just one of those brands that I love so much. Like their products, when they hit, oh, do they hit? Like, bitch, they hit the sky, they bounce back down. They're like a ping pong ball right around my heart and soul. And this product, it hurt so bad because I was just, I was like offended. Um, so let's just talk about the Catrice Shake Fix Glow Setting Spray. This is a hydrating cactus flower, pineapple extract, whatever, whatever. And I have tried using this, okay? You can tell. I've, I have tried to, tried to get a fair amount of use out of this, but can we talk about the fact that it is glitter, okay? It is just glitter that's swirling around in water and I do not understand for the life of me what the functional purposes of this like unless you're wanting to look like you just got back from Coachella and like you've been getting sprayed on by a bunch of cacti I do not see the functional purpose of this um because it just oh my I literally just sprayed it on my hand I know you can't see it I don't know why I'm trying to show you but my hand is now speckled speckled in gold glitter and I just I did I just spit probably because I'm, I'm that level of 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 exacerbated with this product because the more that I try to use it the more frustrated I get when I'm just covered constantly head to toe in glitter you know, I think what furthers the insult more even is that I love, okay, I use it every day, I used it today. This is the Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray. And I love this, like with my whole heart and soul. I think this is one of the best setting sprays I've ever used, hands down. I'll have it linked down below. Trust me when I tell you, you need to check it out. But this setting spray is so damn great. And it's like, it's like, how, how could you go from this to this? How? How? Like how? Like I'm, I'm insulted for the, the Dewy Glow Setting Spray. I'm insulted that her sister is this. Is this? Don't do, don't, just don't, just don't do that to the family. Don't tear up the family with, with shit like this. You just don't need to do that to us, to us. You don't need to do that. So just don't, just, you don't, you don't need this, okay? If you want something dewy, glowy, hydrating, get this one and stay, stay the hell away from this glittery ass mess. Glit, I'm just, I'm covered in glitter. Glitter, everywhere, glitter, no reason. Okay, so next up is a product. I don't know if I have talked about this one or not in a fails video. I feel like I would have by now, but who knows? Um, So anyways, I'm just gonna throw it out there real quick, whether or not I have, I don't know. What the, hello, what is this, what is this one little damn alpha? alpha hair doing. You guys see this? My hairs, when I curl them, they just somehow get a mind of their own. Uh, but let's talk about this product, okay? This is a highlighter that I used, and it is from Walmart, so more on the drugstore side of things. And I want to say that I tested this out in either testing Walmart makeup or new drugstore or something like that. I'll link the video here. But it's time that I say goodbye once and for all, or again, if I, this maybe it's second for all, who knows? But this is the Hard Candy Rose Gold glow dome highlighter. I don't, don't know why I couldn't read that. It was just upside down and backwards apparently. Um, but this highlighter, you guys, it is absolutely disgusting. It is chunky. It is weird. It has like that, that squishy texture, which that doesn't bother me. I think that a lot of, like even the um, Stila Heaven's Hue highlighter has that. Doesn't phase me. But this one is a chunky ass mess and it looks so, okay, well, okay, that looks good. Okay, let, but let's, let, don't be deceived because for some reason, this, when you go to put this beauty and this 
this much glimmer on your face. It doesn't look like this, okay? At least not for me. It looks thick. It looks chunky. And even when I go in and I like pat it on like this, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm having a great ass makeup day right now. Check out Monday's video. But for some reason, okay, putting this on my face looks so bad. It emphasized every fine line, every crack, every crevasse, every pore, every little moment, every, every year of my life that I have lived. Okay, I'm like a tree. You know how trees, if you cut them open, how they got them rings? Well, my face has got those rings, okay? I got something for every year. I have something for every occasion on this face. And the this this highlight just shows all my rings. It's like, hey, let's count the let's count the damn age lines on this old ass 31-year-old face, which if I do say so myself is looking dashing. But this, I just duh, this highlight is so nasty. And I don't know if it's like a texture thing. Maybe it just doesn't work for my skin. I'm not sure because I know other people love it, but like, oh my God, okay. <laughs> it offends me on every level. I hate it. And I I, I will like I'm committing here and now, like right here, right now, Kmart, okay? I will never again use this highlight because it's just <sighs> also can I just ask, has anybody else used this? And do you like it? Because maybe it is a me thing. I don't know. But I oh my god, I'm just offended. Also, I'm eating my hair. <laughs> oh, and then that looks cute. Okay. Paige, get your life together. Get rid of this damn highlight. See what I'm saying? As soon as it enters my atmosphere, it just fucks everything up. It's just <sighs> I told you guys when I did these videos, I was a lot. Is this what you bargained for? You need to ask yourself right now, is this what you signed up for? This much? <laughs> because I'm doing great, okay? Personally, I'm staying on track. I'm doing wonderful, but I'm also a lot, and that's a lot to handle. So just ask yourself, is this what I signed up for? I hope so, because enjoy the ride. All right, so next up we have a concealer, and this one actually kind of hurts me in my heart and soul for multiple reasons. Number one, similar to the Catrice product, I really love this brand. I've grown to really enjoy um, the aesthetic, the style, and what they stand for. Um, and so that's number one. Like, it, it kind of hurts me because I love them, but also um, because the packaging on this, like, I tried to make it work so many times, but let's just talk about the Cure Wise Concealer. I used this in a video, I think it was like testing a Beautylish haul or something. I'll link it up here, of course, but this concealer, is horrible. Yeah, actually, you know what? Pause. Let's make a distinction there, okay? The actual product and the application of it is not good. Like, that's the part that I hate. But the packaging of anything from this brand, from Cure Wise, is magnificent. Everything is designed to be, like, reusable, sustainable. And so, like, the whole concept here is that if you buy this concealer, this lid is gonna last you your damn lifetime, okay? This lid, I could throw this at somebody, and bitch, I'm gonna knock them out. It's like throwing a frying pan, except I'm throwing a lid. So if you ever purchase anything from them, keep that in mind. Like, yes, it's on the pricier side, of things, but it is designed to be reusable. Like even the little, um, this one right here, this is a good example. I have a highlight from them and the packaging itself is gorgeous. Like the overall thing, it weighs a ton, but it's designed so that way you can actually take out, do you see that? I'm afraid to drop it for feel, I'll break my damn toe. The idea anyways, is that if you take out this pan, uh, right here, you can pop in something in its place and that way you're never, um, like throwing away mindless packaging. So that for me, I do love, okay? And I'm going to say that just as a blanket statement. This has nothing to do with that aspect, but this this concealer, like the actual product that is inside, you guys, it is so, <laughs> so damn painful to use. So first of all, let me start by breaking this down. Texture-wise, this is the driest concealer I have ever used. And at first I thought maybe it's just a me thing. Like, you know, maybe it was just mine. Maybe I had a bad batch. But then I started looking on the reviews on the Beautylish website. And there were a couple of other people that had like similar issues and said, you know, it, there is some something about this where when it's delivered, like both the application itself as, as well as the product, it just has such a dry, odd kind of off putting texture. It's very difficult to blend. It looks very creepy on my under eyes and it looks very, um, like very dry and settled. So just overall the concealer for me, not good. But then also couple with that, the fact that the applicator itself is so damn tiny. Okay. So, so damn tiny that you can't get anything off of it. Like, to, like for me to do my under eyes, I was literally dunking in here like six times to do one eye because the amount of product that you get out, is just, it's, it's just not enough. Like you can't build it. The coverage isn't great. And so for me, overall, this concealer was just a lose-lose on every level. Oh my God, even blending it out now, like it's just, it's so, it, it kind of feels like I'm trying to blend out like, like the remnants of Play-Doh. <laughs> like that, that's kind of what it feels like. It's bizarre to me. All right, so next up, let's just talk about this. And I don't know if I've mentioned it, so I'm not going to be like super long-winded about it. At least I will try not to. But this is a duo that I tried when I was testing a holiday makeup kits. I'll link it up here. It was from back in December. Um, and that's kind of why I wonder, like, have I talked about it in a fails? Have I not? I don't know. But it definitely bears repeating if I haven't. These are horrible. They're from Morphe. This this is their continuous setting mist, but the holiday version. And these 
Oh my God, the smell is so, so damn strong. Like why, why couldn't you have just taken the original Morphe setting spray? Hold on, I even have one. Literally just had one with me like, I mean, maybe two hours ago, but the setting spray, the original one is heaven. The mist is amazing. The scent is not too strong. The way it presses in, great. Everything about it, great, great, great. It checks all my boxes, but these, Oh my God, okay, like they, they will literally choke you out. The scent is so strong and there's absolutely no reason. Like you could have just taken the original, put it in a pretty bottle and called it a day, but instead you decided to asphyxiate all of us with these little cans. I'm like, oh my God, like I, I want to use these cause I hate like letting stuff like this go to waste, but I actually, I personally can't use it cause I feel like I'm gonna die. And then I feel guilty giving it to someone else cause I don't want to kill anybody else. What what if a child got a hold of this? Oh my God, like what, 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 what if they sprayed it and then it just took up all the oxygen in the room? I would feel so bad. But anyways, for me, huge fail again don't know if I talked about it so I'm not gonna stay here long but oh oh every time I even try to use it I'm just like oh no because I can't I can't make myself I can't make myself do it because it's bad all right so next up we have another mascara to talk about y'all I'm just on a mascara hate and train today apparently and this one is from LA girl this is their jet setter mascara and the first thing I want to say okay 10 out of 10 on the packaging it looks super cute I love this little ombre moment it has a nice metallic finish and I also really like the brush on this one it has more of a full bristle and typically uh, bristles like this or brushes like this, um, they do a really good job at taking my mascara and really fully delivering it from roots to tips and it helps to like build on the coats before it. But there was definitely something lost in translation with this mascara because it is beyond frustrating. Like when I, when I say beyond, okay, I don't mean like, oh, to infinity and beyond, oh, Buzz Light, no, I don't mean no Buzz Light your shit. I mean like, oh my God, my insanity, like what, woo, it makes me crazy because this mascara does not build. It is so natural, It is, but not natural and like, oh, like it's playful and it's whimsical kind of natural. This is, this is natural in like a, why the hell did I just spend whatever couple of dollars this is and the time and the frustration? Why did I even try to put mascara on? That's how natural this looks. And it is so freaking frustrating because it does not build, does not build for no reason. Okay. No reason. It just doesn't build on itself. Like you can't, you can't take air and build it on air. You get what I'm saying? Like you, you can't build what's not there. And with this one, that is like so painfully evident because it just doesn't build. And I don't, I don't know why. I don't know. Whew, I don't know. I, guys, I've tried it so many times. I've tried playing like with like other mascaras with it. I don't know. But this mascara, it is painful to try and use. And I Oh, I detest it. All right, so next up, I'm gonna end on this product. It's one from Essence that is newer, and I would have used it in like testing either new Essence or new drugstore makeup, which I'll link whichever video it is up here. But this one bums me out so bad because technically, it well, first of all, let me tell you what it is. This is the Hello Good Stuff 3-in-1 Face Mist. It's to hydrate, fix, and refresh with watermelon extract. And this makes me so sad because, first of all, I love Essence makeup. Like, as a whole, I have so, so many favorites from that brand. I love their brow stuff. I love their blushes. I love, I love bronzers from them. Like they, they have such amazing products for the price that you pay, um, that I'm always really excited to get to test them. And it makes me so sad because going into this one, I feel like I haven't even really been able to like fully test the product and see, you know, does it prime? Does it set? Does it refresh throughout the day? Like what, what good does this really give to the skin? Um, I, I wouldn't know because the smell of the watermelon extract is way, way too strong for me. And maybe it's just a me thing. I I don't know because you know I did already mention with the Morphe one that that smell bothered me but I also think like that was one that bothered a lot of people so that's def that's definitely not just me but with this one the smell of it like when you spray your face I'm okay with a little scent like a little you know a little watermelon or a little coconut a little a little whatever the hell you're putting in there right like I can I can live with that but my biggest issue with a spray or really any makeup product is when you put fragrance in well first of all let me say this I, I just put this up front I'm not like pro fragrance in anything I can tolerate it but I'm not pro it I think that, you know, we don't need it. A lot of people are super sensitive to it. So I don't think that we need it just to say that up front. But for me, my biggest pet peeve is when they put um, like smell into a product, like they infuse it, watermelon extract, whatever, and it lingers around. Like it stays there past that moment that you use it. Um, like for me with a setting spray, for example, I don't care if they have a little bit of scent up front, if they have like a little, oh, like, okay, there's vanilla or there's whatever. That is what it is. Again, I'm not like pro it, but I'm okay with it as long as it dissipates, as long as I spray it and I wave and it goes away. Like this one, for example, okay, I can spray it on my hand, which by the way, the mister of this is great, but oh my God, the smell. Why did I just, why did I think that was a good idea to spray? I don't know. But the smell of this is so overwhelming that even when I'm done with this video and I'm shutting everything off, I will still come back here in 10 minutes or whatever it is. And I will still sniff this hand, this very hand right here. And it will still smell like watermelon. And that drives me crazy because it makes it so that I, I like, I feel like I can never get away from the smell. But all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. 
video. I know this one is a little shorter and that's going to bum some of you guys out, but uh, I am trying to kind of stagger it a little bit, kind of kind of throw in, you know, just a couple short videos here and there, just for those of you that you do prefer them to be a little bit cut back. I want to make sure that I'm, you know, catering to everyone that you all are getting, you know, kind of what you're looking for. Of course, regardless of where you sit for that, whether you like them long, short, whatever, that sounds, that sounds really bad. Um, but I hope that you guys liked the video. I hope it was useful to you. Please feel free to let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below too, whether it is on these products, if you love them, you hate them, or if you've tried something recently that you love, you hate, you want to sound off down below, you know, maybe just warn other people not to buy it. That is totally acceptable. Uh, make sure just that you leave it all down in the comments because I love to hear from you guys. And I really love, you know, getting to talk to you. And when you guys all talk to each other, like it just, it makes my heart so warm and happy. So make sure that again, you're leaving all of your thoughts down in the comments. You can check out all the makeup I'm wearing. I'll have it listed down below in the description box. And of course you can check out Monday's video if you want to see application and all the good things. Oh, and I'll also make sure too to have the, um, the sweatshirt that I'm wearing. This is from H&M and I'm freaking obsessed with it. I said this in uh, Monday's video as well. I just think it's so cute and crisp and white and I love it. Um, and, and you know, if you want to see me put on makeup while wearing a bib, you can check Monday's video. Cause did you think I was trying to get makeup on this? Absolutely not. Okay. Cause I think it's so cute. Um, so yeah, make sure you again, check out Monday's video, check out everything I'm wearing down below. If you want to shop it, and of course, follow me on Instagram, you know, most, most important plug that I can get out there. Follow me on Instagram. You guys, I think that that's enough for today. Thank you all so, so much for watching per usual. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have fun here. And if nothing else, I hope that it made you laugh or at least maybe, maybe crack a smile, maybe crack a little, <laughs> just, just a little bit. Um, I hope that you guys had fun though. Thank you all again. So, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. La da da di da 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 da. La da da di da 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 da. Uh, you ever just look down and wonder where your other sock went? Because I'm definitely missing a sock, and I came in here with two. So <laughs> where where'd the other sock go? I'm just curious. <laughs> Anybody seen it? Uh, it's probably dirty on on the the foot side of it. Cause let's be honest, I haven't cleaned this room in I don't even know how long, and there's just shit piled up everywhere. So it's definitely dirty. Um, but where did it go? Nobody would want my sock. Definitely. I don't even want my socks. Ugh. Did I just film two videos with a damn Triceratops horn sticking up on the top of my damn head? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That better not be noticeable in the footage or I will scream because I've been in here for like over six hours and I will scream if you can see my Triceratops. My Triceratops. Triceratops. Obviously, get your ancestors right, Paige. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Get it tight. Stop. Girl, I don't need you, but you need me. Okay, stop. You paid. Stop. Find your sock.